Another video, it's your boy. Vibing with Fred, a shot by Fred, whatever you want to call me, just don't call me the wrong shit. Look, we're going to switch gears today, man. <laughs> I see y'all going crazy on the last video, all right? That's, let me just say this real quick. Um, I'm not upset. I'm not speaking about one person in, in, in particular. Again, this is, this is a number of people I've been seeing. And I'm also speaking to the people who make videos in general, you know, um, some of your favorite YouTubers, whoever it is. Um, and the reason I made that video is remember, that, remember back in like the early 2000s, like mid 2000s, where Kendrick Lamar like called out all the rappers, you know, it's talking about Drake, J. Cole, all the top goats, right? It's like, it's time, it's time to step up this shit. It's, it's not like we beefing. I'm not beefing with anybody. I have no beef with nobody. Um, but it's it's really just to to get people to understand like bro, it's time to get creative because the space is dry right now. All right. Anyway, I'm not making a video about that. Today we're talking about how to easily piss off a Brazilian. Number one, to be dirty. All right, guys, I've I made videos about this before. Hygiene and being messy is one of the biggest reasons to turn off any Brazilian. All right. This goes for male and female. You could be an American girl watching this. You can be a European girl watching this. Brazilians are very, very strict on hygiene. Bro, Brazilians take about four to five showers a day. Uh, they keep their living spaces, their living quarters, bathroom, everything, bedroom, living room, closet wardrobe everything is clean for the most part at least what i've seen they brush their teeth constantly they take four to five showers a day um even if they're hot they're taking showers like skincare on point um you name it i mean hygiene is important now if you're somebody who is messy uh you don't take showers as much or at all <laughs> You don't brush your teeth as much. Um, not only just brushing your teeth, you don't scrub your tongue. You don't groom. You know, you don't you don't make up the bed. You don't you don't do a lot of these things. It's gonna cause friction in the relationship. All right. So let me just say that. So that's number one. If you are messy and have low hygiene, bad hygiene, poor hygiene, and you're a dirty person, you're gonna piss off Brazilian women. Or if you're a girl this do, that does this, you're gonna piss off a Brazilian man. Number two, <laughs> number two thing to piss off a Brazilian is to assume that they speak Spanish, all right? I've actually ran into Americans, not gonna say any names, but they'll start speaking Spanish to Brazilians. And some Brazilians might not trip about it, but some will be annoyed. Um, now, I have found that if you can't speak Portuguese, they will essentially revert to Spanish. Um, but if you just come to assume that they speak Spanish as the first language in, in Brazil, uh, you might get some ugly looks, some dirty looks. You know, that is a that is a lot of Brazilians don't like that. If you're a cool guy. If you're a cool guy, then she might give you a pass. But don't, don't expect everybody to give you a pass. Learn Portuguese, all right? Don't assume that all of them speak Spanish. Um, <laughs> and don't just come there speaking Spanish and not even trying to learn Portuguese. And number three is going to be uh, know your facts about the geographic of Brazil. The capital is not Rio, <laughs> all right? We know the media puts out Rio, 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 all right? When most people come to Brazil, they only think Rio. All right, programming. The capital is also not Sao Paulo. All right, the capital is Brasilia, which is where the essentially like in the United States, where Washington D.C. they got the White House, the government, all that type of stuff. It's Brasilia, guys. All right, and the Amazon, the Amazonian region does not. The United States does not own the rainforest <laughs> in the Amazons. You would be surprised about how many people actually think that. All right. So the capital is not Sao Paulo, it's not Rio, and the Amazons do not belong to the United States. All right. So get hip on the geographic history 
prior to opening your mouth talking about this. Number four is do not compare anything to Argentina. Bra Brazil has a huge base in Argentina as far as the Brazilian community. But if, you, if you're constantly comparing Argentina culture, history, women, men, soccer, don't even say soccer, football. If you're comparing anything to Argentinian, to Brazilian, it's going to piss them off, bro. So just, I don't need to go in great detail about this. Don't compare Argentina to Brazil. Don't sit here and just talk about, oh, what, how does this compare? The foods, the culture, the dances, the women, the music. Don't do it, bro. All right? Don't do it. Number five is actually, <laughs> number five is actually funny. It is so true. Do not expect Brazilians to be on time for anything. All right, so if you plan a date or, uh, you, you know, y'all have a party or anything scheduled, expect for them to arrive an hour late or hour and a half late, two hours pushing it. But expect for them, it's called Brazilian time, bro. If you say, hey, we're going to meet tomorrow at 3 p.m., expect them to arrive 4, 4.30, all right? And if you're, you're, if you're a person who is very punctual, this is going to piss you off. And this pissed me off a lot, all right? I don't know how many times I got upset with Durag Bay or, or other people I was meeting in Brazil. Like, look, I chose this time and you're not even here yet. Like, I've been sitting here an hour. So don't expect, I, if, you tell, if you pick a time, expect, even if they choose a time, bro, expect them to arrive late. So don't even be in a rush to get there to, to set a good example. Bro, arrive about, 45 minutes after they t after the time that they give you, and they probably gonna arrive about 15, 20 minutes after that. So don't be super punctual. And I was like, I, I don't like being early. Uh, I mean, I don't like being late to things. Like, just make sure that you understand that an hour is probably like the safe space to know that they're gonna arrive late as hell to the first date, to the second date, to the movie date, whatever, unless y'all going together. Even if she say, hey, I'm getting ready, she going to arrive late, bro. So just be prepared for that. Number six, and coming from the United States, this is probably something that we do too often and don't even realize it. Slamming the car door in anybody's car, whether it be like Ubers, whether it be taxis, whether it's your friend's car. Like, as Americans, we slam the doors, like, with no ill intent you know it's, it's kind of just habit where we kind of aggressively slam doors i remember <laughs> i remember a time bro when floyd got out of uber slammed the car door so hard that the speaker fell out of the of the door like and the dude was pissed and ready to fight so guys that is one way you will piss off a brazilian bro is just slamming the car doors bro so do not slam the car door if anything, just gracefully, where you gotta, you, you're like, oh no, no, it's not, it's still, it's still open. You gotta close it again. Do that. Just gracefully close it. And if you tell you gotta close it again, all right, then boom, nudge it a little bit and close it. But don't slam their car doors, bro. They would be pissed. Number seven. I think this is pretty obvious, and this goes without saying for any country. Um, don't talk politics in Brazil at all, bro. Don't talk about Lula. Don't talk about Bolsonaro. Don't talk about none of that shit, bro. Do not talk politics in Brazil. Because if you say one thing wrong, you're going to lose a Brazilian friendship, relationship forever. Nigga, don't talk politics. Your problems, their problems are not your problems. Your beliefs are not theirs. Just leave politics. Hell, even leave religion alone, bro. Don't mention politics. I'll even add religion, side, politics. Don't talk either one of those to Brazilians. Because if you say the wrong shit, if you have to, if, if they, bro, they take that shit very, very serious in Brazil. So don't talk politics why do you care anyway you're not even a brazilian it's not going to affect you for the most part you know so but for the bro don't talk politics number eight another reason why i added this on there because it's very important of course but it actually happened to me once or twice but not wanting to try the food that they prepare and cook even if they're offering they come around two or three four or five times just grab it even if you don't want it you know, I didn't understand it at first because I'm like, if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to take it. But not trying their foods, not trying different things will definitely upset Brazilians, especially if you're at a, like a party or event, 
um, especially like birthday parties, just eat something, drink something. Like don't come there already full off of something you had before. Come knowing that you're gonna have to eat something, bro. Like it will upset them. They might not show it, but internally it's gonna upset them, bro. So just make sure that you are not rejecting the food that they offer you. Number nine is a big one, bro. Listen, and I, and I caught myself doing this even when I'm with Americans, even when I, well, shit, I'm in the States. Even when I'm in the States and I do this at, at family functions, if you open a beer, right, in Brazil, if you don't do this, it will piss them off. If you got three, four, two, it doesn't matter how many people you have sitting at your table, if you open a beer and you just pour yourself a glass and you don't pour everybody else a glass, you will get some dirty looks and it'll piss them off. Don't do that, bro. So if you have a problem with sharing, I'm gonna tell you this, you have a problem with sharing, you might wanna go ahead and kill that, that shit now before you've been going to Brazil. If you're in Brazil right now, you might as well go ahead and start, get acquainted to sharing. If you order a pizza and if you don't share it and you can eat this whole pizza by yourself, you better start dispersing this shit out to people, all right? Because people will grab it off of your off of your plate too, all right? So you need to understand that uh, <laughs> off rip. So if you get something to drink, pour everybody around the table something to drink, bro. Like don't sit there and just pour yourself a glass, all right? I had to learn this early on as well. Uh, and these are things, bro, these are things nobody fucking taught me these things, bro. I had to learn this shit on my own. I didn't have an OG when I was in, you know, when I first got to Southwood. I didn't have somebody like a like a wingman. Bro, I did this shit on my own trial and error, and I'm just telling y'all what to fucking do, all right? If you have a drink, pour it at, for everybody cup. It doesn't matter if you're on a date, one-on-one, -on -one, if it's three people, four people, ten people, whatever. You know, most, most of the time, you're probably going to have, like, three or four beers. But, look, they're going to pour your cup, and make sure if you pour your own cup, pour theirs too, bro. It's just sharing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's being considerate, and everybody's here together. Everybody take care of each other. Number 10, this is probably gonna hit a lot of y'all right square in the damn forehead, because a lot of y'all do this shit. This will ultimately piss Brazilians off. You coming to Brazil and acting shocked that they have little, little items that you like, as if they're just completely fucking poor, right? As if they, live in the guy i don't i don't know but some people come to brazil and they think that brazilians are super dirt fucking poor and they don't even have cables to charge their phone you acting surprised that they have tissue paper you acting surprised that they have necessities bro they have everything that the states have bro so don't act like oh my god i'm surprised y'all got this oh wow y'all have this like that will piss brazilians off bro like, <laughs> just think about it. They came to the States, like, they did that shit to us. That shit will low-key piss you off, and it'll, it'll annoy you. Like, yeah, of course we have it, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you think? Who do you think we are? You know what I'm saying? You think we sleep on the fucking floor? You think we sleep in a tent? You think we sleep in the goddamn rainforest? Like, what do you think What do you think Brazil is? And that, that's how they think when, when, when people from the outside act surprised that they have um, – I don't know, like just little things, bro. Anything, don't do that. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, do not do that, bro. All right, so uh, man, that's all I got. These are the 10 ways to piss off Brazilians. Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, some, sometimes I actually just purposely mess with my friends and do some of these things, and then we laugh about it later. But these are things that really will piss off Brazilians. And if you don't have a good relationship with a Brazilian, um, and you haven't built that, that that space to joke around don't do this bro like don't do these things and just test you know you, you want to test them and shit like don't do it bro because you'll lose uh every time so these are 10 ways to piss off brazilians i'm telling you guys that hope you guys like this video comment this video share this video and we'll see you guys in the next video